We're here at the Montreal Grappling Sphere and today's wrapping up and I happen to bump into uh, BJJ Black Belt, uh, former UFC veteran Jeff Jocelyn. How are you doing? Doing really well. Had a fantastic day today. Yeah, and how did, how did your team do, by the way? Did really well. Um, Dan got in the finals for the trip and yeah. he lost by uh, two advantages, so very close. And uh, Ryan won a gold medal uh, in his division, Ryan Dixon. And uh, the other guys all did well. They won a, you know, two or three fights each and you know, lost one or two and they were really happy. How, how is it as a, a coach to see your students start progressing and uh, performing well at competition? Oh, it's, it's amazing. You know, back when I was uh, fighting myself and competing regularly all the time, I always wondered, you know, what am I going to do when I'm done fighting? Is it going to be as rewarding? Because when you win yourself, it's, it feels so great. But truthfully, it's been uh, more than more rewarding when they win and they do well than when I was winning myself. So it's, it's, it's awesome to see them do well and to be a part of that is uh, pretty amazing. This is quite the hike down uh, Montreal. How far is it from your school? Uh, it took about seven or eight hours, so it's a bit of a bit of a run. But uh, you know, we've been here many times before for um, MMA in the past and jiu-jitsu as well. So uh, definitely worth it. For those at home, uh, m maybe they don't know who you are. I don't know why they wouldn't. Uh, let them know maybe where your school's located and how maybe they could come train with you. Sure, my school's in Hamilton, Ontario. Um, you can check out joslinsmma.com. Also have a train at home mixed martial arts product, uh, mmaquickstart.com. And my own website, lots of websites, uh, jeffjoslinsmma.com is my personal site with lots of training tips and uh, different things that help, uh, help you out with your training. Be being with them, such a, a well-known name in jiu-jitsu, a powerhouse, uh, how, how does that make you feel and uh, how does it help your jiu-jitsu game? Uh, it makes me feel very good. You know, I'm one of my students uh, uh, had the opportunity to go down and train in Sao Paulo and I've been to Rio to train as well and every time I go to Atlanta to train with uh, Jack Ray and uh, his team is, is, is fantastic and bring different guys up so uh, you know it's been a great experience being part of uh, their team is a ton of knowledge and uh, it's, it definitely pays off. You're saying uh, training in Brazil and your students how is the level in North America now? Are we getting close to Brazil or are we still behind? I think the level's very high. I think the competitors, are the, sometimes tough competitors are the one, sorry, the tough tournaments are the ones that are close to home. But uh, you see a lot of different uh, competitors from schools now going and competing uh, internationally and doing well. So I think as a Canadian, you know, even in mixed martial arts for me, you always feel like, you know, am I, uh, am I doing things right? Am I trading hard enough? And sometimes you go, you know, other places and you find out you're doing more than enough. So it's, uh, I definitely think everybody in Canada, the level has grown so much. And, uh, it's fun, honestly, for me uh, as a spectator and coach to watch uh, these guys go at it. So a lot, of, a lot of talent out there. Absolutely. And for your students, I see you got them to compete. But how uh, important is them for their uh, progression to compete? Do you make them compete? That's what I'm trying to say. I think it's very important to compete because you know you get used to other people's styles at the gym and you pretty much know how you're going to fight everybody, all your friends and all your teammates. You know how, you, how the fight's pretty much going to go or the, the match in jiu-jitsu. Uh, so when you face other people, you pretty much have to solve that riddle in a five-minute match. So you get a lot of experience in dealing with uh, changing things up on the fly and that's experience that can be carried over into uh, you know future jiu-jitsu matches, international competition, as well as uh, mixed martial arts. So this experience is uh, invaluable for those, for those guys that want to progress to the next level. Nice. And, and going on to a, a away from BJJ, but obviously still within it, MMA. Who are some guys right now that you see doing jujitsu in MMA, and you think is pretty much the, hands down the best? I like uh, I like watching Damian Maya. But the tricky thing is with jujitsu, it really. Uh you have to get on the top position. When I think when you get to the top position in, the, in an MMA fight, the jitsu really shines because the guard, pre, uh, guard passing, the pressure, uh, the mount position. These are positions that are people that are not really skilled in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. They, they kind of avoid the mount because they get rolled sometimes or the guy escapes. So when you see nice clean jiu-jitsu from the top position, it's very nice. And the guard, you know, has to be changed a little bit. So you see some guys uh, adapting to guard so they're not getting punches in the face. So I think, um, you know, going back to where jiu-jitsu really shines and you see a lot of these guys like Damian Maya and... Um, you know, there's a handful of other guys. It slips my mind right now, that, but a lot of guys from Brazil, when they get on the top position, uh, they do very, very well. And you got uh, Polaris doing the footlocks. That's beautiful. So he's pulling off some slick submissions. And, you know, I think many different styles can work in MMA. As long as you have a wrestling base and as long as you have some good striking, and you're not getting knocked out before you can pull the stuff off. So you as a teacher, you have uh, students obviously coming up wanting to compete in MMA. Have you tried to take all your knowledge from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, obviously your experience from MMA, have you tried to adapt it to get a more full, complete style? 
Definitely. Like in my, even though I was a Bra Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, in my fights, I very rarely you could like I didn't do any submission holds or. It's not that I didn't want to. It's just I had a lot of confidence in my striking, so I lose a lot. Of, used a lot of my Jiu-Jitsu to get back to my feet, so I could outbox the guy, out, you know, kickbox the guy, um, because I believed in myself that much. Uh, if it hit the ground. Um, you know, I kind of developed over the years many different uh, uh, strategies and ways to get back to my feet. So instead of always going for a triangle submission, which are a lot of guys are, sorry, a triangle or an arm lock, a lot of guys are used to that. You know, how, do, how can you get back to your feet? So you can work a takedown, uh, play the top position, or score a knockout. So I think, um, you know, we've developed a pretty cool style, and I'm very excited for my guys. We have seven guys fighting uh, amateur in February, and then we have um, Ryan Dixon doing another pro fight in March, and he's 8-0 uh, overall now. So I think... Uh, it's really paying off all the hard work, and you know I, I really appreciate uh, my students giving it their all every time they step on the mats. And uh, where where is his fight going to be? His is in Hamilton, actually, in our city. It's uh, for the Score Fighting Series, mm -hmm. and he just came off a win uh, at the Score Fighting Series in Sarnia, and um, we're definitely really excited about that, and excited about developing uh, these amateurs that are up and coming into pros uh, in the very uh, near future. All right, and. Uh, any last words you'd like to tell people what's coming up for you, maybe future plans? Well, for me, it's uh, you know coaching my guys in, in Hamilton. If anybody wants to uh, come and train with our, our pro guys and our amateur guys, or, or just train recreationally and get in great shape and have some have some fun, uh, we have uh, you know hundreds of students out there doing the same thing. So come out there and check it out. And uh, really, my goal too on through my online training is to pretty much share everything I know online. So this year, I'm going to be putting on a lot of products. I have a new series on dominating from the mount that I just put out, and I'm going to put out a ton of stuff this year. That's my goal. And I think uh, because a lot of people are out there and they want to learn MMA, they're excited. They're they're fans, they want to train, but there's no maybe no instruction around. Or they have to travel an hour every day to train. So I think you can learn a ton I, off of videotapes and off of online training. And I did a lot myself being a Canadian. We didn't have jujitsu instructors when we started, so we had to uh, you know, travel and watch videotapes. And, and I just want to give back to those people who want to learn but don't have the opportunity. All right, so there you go, guys. If you're ever in Hamilton, come train with Jeff Jocelyn's. And uh, thank you very much.